in our surroundings. Mummy, Diwali is approaching. So I have to decorate diyas and take them to school. Yes, I will teach you. Can you come with me to the market? Yes, let's go. Brother, show me a good border or lace which can be stitched to the sari. These are the options available. You can pick any pattern that you like from these options. Mummy, what is a pattern? When any object or shapes are placed in a particular order and repeated again and again, it is called a pattern. Look, this lace has pattern made of peacocks. Oh yes! Here the peacock motif has been repeated again and again. Rightly said, Winnie. Mummy, I want to know more about patterns. Okay, Winnie. So today, let's observe the patterns we see in our surroundings. Look, Winnie. All the clothes here have some pattern on them. Oh yes! In all these clothes, some shapes or designs have been repeated again and again. Rightly said Winnie, brother, we like this patterned lace. Please use this one on my sari. Okay, you can collect your sari tomorrow. Thank you, brother. Winnie, let us go. Yes, let's go. Winnie, look at this wall. This wall has a pattern made of bricks. Oh, yes! Now look, this zebra crossing has a pattern of black and white stripes. Yes, this pattern has black, white, black, white lines. Both black and white color lines have been used repeatedly. Now look. At the roof of this ice cream shop. Does it have a pattern? Yes, here two different color stripes have been used to make a pattern. And the ice cream cone also has a pattern. Yes, Winnie, we talked all the way and reached home so soon. Hey, the door of a house also has a pattern. Rightly said, Winnie. The strips here have a pattern of big to small, small to big, initially big to small and then small to big strips have been used. Mummy, our tablecloth also has a pattern. Did you notice? Winnie, what is the pattern of this cloth? It has three flowers, then two flowers, then again three flowers, two flowers, Three flowers, two flowers, it gets repeated and that's how this pattern is created. Well done, Winnie. Very good. Now, can you tell which of the fruits on the table have a pattern? Hmm, there is a pattern in custard apple and pineapple. Winnie, please turn on the TV. Hey, mummy. Is there a pattern on this building as well? Yes, this building is the Hawa Mahal at Jaipur in Rajasthan. And this? This is the Taj Hotel in Mumbai. Mummy, these pattern on these buildings make them look so beautiful, isn't it? Hey, beautiful reminds me of decorating the diyas beautifully. I have to take them to school tomorrow. Let me help you. Look, there are some similar patterns on this diya as well. Yes, but how we will make it look beautiful? By placing these big and small stones on the diyas. 
How? We will use different colored, small and big stones alternately on the diya to make a pattern. Doing so, now we have a beautiful pattern on the diya. Yes, mummy. Now this diya is looking very beautiful. Vinny, now do your homework. Then we will make patterns using various objects. Okay, mummy. Friends, today we understood patterns in our surroundings. In the next video, we will learn to make patterns with various objects in our surroundings. Mummy, I have completed my homework. Vinny, we will decorate our house very nicely this Dipavali. Yes, Mummy, but how? Today, we will learn to make patterns with various objects in our surroundings. Vinny, we will use nice patterns and decide how to decorate our house. Decorate using patterns? Yes, for the puja, we will make garlands out of red and yellow flowers. To make the garland, two yellow flowers, one red flower, then two yellow flowers, one red flower, we will use this pattern to make the garland. Mummy, the pattern you created is beautiful, but I will use the red and yellow flowers to make a different pattern. Okay, so tell me, which pattern are you going to use to make your garland? To make my garland, I will use one yellow flower, three red flowers, then again one yellow, three red flowers. I will use this pattern for my garland. Wow! Well done, Vinny. Your garland is looking very pretty with the pattern. Mummy? What else are we going to do for the Dipavali decorations at our home? We will decorate the courtyard of our house with diyas. Mummy, we will place three three diyas in a row and make a pattern like this with the diyas. Vinny, just placing objects in a row will not mean that you have made a pattern. This is not how it works. What does that mean? Is there any other way of making patterns? Yes, Vinny. Look at our courtyard. We will place one dia, then two dias above it, one, two, three dias above them, and one, two, three, four dias above them. And make a pattern. Hmm. As for this pattern, we increase one diya every time we move up a row. Right? Yes, Vinny. Mummy, can we make a pattern by decreasing one diya every time we move up a row? Yes, Vinny. For that, we will at first place four diyas. This way, then one, two, three diyas above them, then two diyas, and in the final row, we place one diya to finish the pattern. Great, mummy, these two patterns are looking so good together. Yes, Vinny, look, this is an increasing pattern moving upwards, and this one is in a decreasing pattern as we go up. Yes, this pattern moving upwards has one, two, three and four. Here we have increased one dia as we move upwards. 
and the decreasing pattern has four, three, two, one. We have reduced one dia each time we move upwards. Mummy, how we will make the rangoli? Vinny, this Dipavali we will make a rangoli pattern with flowers. How? Come, let me teach you. First, we will draw a circle like this. On the circle, we will place one red flower and one yellow flower like this. Vinny, can you tell me what we will be doing next? We will repeat the flower pattern. Well done, Vinny. After we have completed the pattern, we will make a dia like this. Now, what are we going to do? We will complete the dia pattern inside the circle. Well done. Now, we will place a red flower in the center of the rangoli. Mummy, now I have learned making patterns very well. Yes, now you can very well make patterns on tiyas, patterns on garlands, patterns to decorate the courtyard with tiyas and rangoli pattern. Isn't it? Yes, Mummy, I will teach these patterns to my friends in school too. Mummy, this Deepavali, we will burst many crackers. Yes, Vinnie. Do you know that firecrackers also have a pattern? Oh, yes. That is why these crackers all look so beautiful. <laughs> yes. So, friends, today we learn to make patterns with various objects in our surroundings. In the next video, we will learn to make patterns out of shapes. Children, Deepavali is approaching soon. So, do you remember what you have to do? Yes, ma'am. We have to decorate our class. Absolutely correct. See this. I have a toren or a decorative door hanging in the shape of a triangle. Vinnie and Binnie, both of you will complete this toren in this very pattern. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Binnie, keep putting glue on the triangles and I will keep Pasting them like this. Okay. okay. All right. It's looking really good. Oh, Vinnie Binnie, look at this toren carefully. The triangle shapes have been put together in a special pattern. These are patterns of shapes. Patterns, patterns of shapes? Yes, friends. In today's video, we will learn how to make patterns by repeating a special sequence in which different shapes are organized. Yes, yes. ma'am. In this toren, first triangle is red and the second triangle is yellow in color. Yes, the third triangle is red in color and the fourth triangle is yellow in color. Both of you are correct. Children, all the shapes in this toren are triangles. Keep in mind the colors of the triangles and repeat the color pattern while making this door hanging or toren. Okay, okay ma'am, we, we have, have understood. understood. Let's get these triangles out and put them in the right order to make this toren. Yes. I will put a red triangle in 5th place and a yellow triangle in 6th place like this. Now let us keep repeating this pattern of triangles first red and then yellow. Awesome! Both of you have done such a good job with the toren. Thank you ma'am. What do we do next? We need to decorate this boat. Okay ma'am. 
On one corner of the board, we can use big and small circle shapes to make a flower. Next to this flower, I can draw a dia using a semicircle and an oval shape in this manner. Oh wow! Next to it, I'll draw another flower by using one big circle and some small circles. And I will once again draw a dia like this with a semicircle shape and an oval shape. So we will keep repeating the sequence a flower drawn out of circle shapes followed by a dia drawn from a semicircle and an oval shape. Oh yes, this looks like a pattern. Oh lovely, you have made a beautiful pattern. Ma'am? Can we decorate the wall with balloons? Absolutely, decorate it. Come on, Binny. Let us decorate this wall with balloons in sphere shape and oval shape. Yes, here are some yellow balloons in the sphere shape and red balloons in the oval shape. Binny, let's create a special pattern out of these. Yes, let's put one yellow spherical balloon and one red oval balloon like this. Bini, red spear shaped balloons are more in number. You could make a pattern with one yellow spear shaped balloon followed by two red oval balloons. I feel that will look more beautiful. Okay, one yellow spherical balloon. Then, two red oval shaped balloons. Then, one yellow spherical balloon and two red oval shaped balloons. Then, one yellow spherical balloon and two red oval shaped balloons. Let's continue with the sequence. Oh wow! You have decorated the wall so beautifully with the balloons. Thank you ma'am. Ma'am, shall we decorate that door too? Yes, but decorate that also in some special pattern. Yes ma'am. Vinny, look over there. I can see some decoration materials in the shape of stars and spears. We can make a tauren out of these two shapes to decorate the door. Oh yes, we can make a fantastic pattern with these. How? Oh, we can put a spear after every two stars and we can create a beautiful tauren by repeating this pattern. Wow, we will make a great tauren. We can put two stars and a spear on a strong thread like this. Yes, and then we can put two stars and a spear like this again. And we can continue with this pattern. Yes, and now the toren is complete by repeating this special pattern. The pattern of this toren is really beautiful. Very good. Both of you have decorated the door beautifully. Thank, Thank you, you ma'am. Ma Children, you have decorated this class beautifully. Ma'am, we, we also, also enjoy decorating with, with different, different patterns. <laughs> Children, in today's video, you learnt how to make patterns by repeating a special sequence in which different shapes are organized. In the next video, you will see some interesting examples of special patterns of shapes. Children, in this video, we will learn how to identify special patterns of shapes with some interesting examples. 
Bini, let me ask you a riddle based on what ma'am has taught us about patterns. Try to solve this riddle, okay? All right, ask me. In this pattern, which do you think would be the next shape? Oh, that's easy. The next shape in this pattern will be a green colored circle. Oh, Bini, first of all, look carefully at the shapes placed in the pattern. We have to keep in mind the sequence in which shapes appear, then understand how the shapes will be repeated to complete the pattern. Yes, you are right. In this pattern, a pink triangle is followed by an orange star and then appears a green circle. And this pattern is repeated. Yes, so now please complete the pattern. In this pattern, next shape will be a pink triangle, then an orange star and then finally a green circle. Very good, Bini. Alright, now it's my turn to ask. In the given pattern, which shape will come next? In this pattern, a rectangle and a pentagon have been repeated. Therefore, the next shape in this pattern will be a pentagon followed by a rectangle. Oh, oh, wait! Look carefully! In this pattern, one rectangle is followed by two pentagons and we need to repeat this pattern. Right! So, the next shape in this pattern will be a pentagon. This way we get a pattern of one rectangle and two pentagons. Yes, now you are correct. This is fun. Ask me another question. Come on. Complete the pattern that you see here by choosing one of the two options provided. But all these are square shapes. There is no pattern here. Oh, look closely. All the squares have dots inside them. Just see? Yes. And the number of dots varies in each square, right? I still do not understand this. Look, Winnie. The first square has one dot and the second has two. Yes. Third square has three and the fourth has four dots. This means that the dots in these squares are in ascending order. So, according to this pattern, the fifth square will have five dots in it, right? Yes, but the pattern may not always be in ascending order. For example, look, here is a pattern of shapes. In this pattern, a seven-sided shape, heptagon, is followed by a six-sided shape, hexagon. Then five-sided shape pentagon has been added and finally a four-sided shape square has been given. Yes, in this pattern sides of all the shapes are in descending order. So now tell me, in this pattern which shape will come next? In this pattern the next shape will be the three-sided shape triangle. Wow, Bini, well done. You have solved this riddle really well. All right, let's go now. Okay, let's go. Children, in this video you learned how to identify special patterns of shapes with some interesting examples. In the next video, we will together understand patterns made from numbers and letters. Simple Patterns by Stamping Ma'am, may I come in? 
Come in, Jimmy. Oh, wow! New frock. Yes, ma'am. It's my birthday today. Happy birthday to you, dear Jimmy. Thank you, ma'am. Jimmy, the pattern on your frock is really beautiful. Ma'am, how is a pattern made on this frock? A block with flower-shaped design that has been used as a stamp on the frock to make a beautiful pattern like this. Make a pattern using a stamp. How is that done? All right, let me explain it to you. Yes. So children, today we will learn how to stamp patterns with the help of blocks and some other objects. Ma'am, can you tell us what is a stamp? Choose a block that matches the design of the pattern you want and apply your favorite color on it. When this block is pressed against a cloth or paper, we call it a stamp. Look at Jimmy's frock. The pattern is made by stamping a colored block which has the design of a flower on it. Ma'am, can we make several patterns by using stamps like these? Yes, absolutely. Look, this is a block with the design of a rose flower. So, we can make a pattern like this. Oh, wow, ma'am. This is very easy to make such patterns. Yes, Jimmy. It's simple to make patterns with a stamp. We can easily create different types of patterns by applying color on a block or other objects. Ma'am, can we make patterns using stamps in our drawing books as well? Yes, children. Come, let me show you some pictures that have been created by stamping. And you have to tell me which objects were used as stamps to make these kind of pictures. All right, right, right ma'am. Ma Here in these pictures, which vegetable was cut and dipped in color to get this pattern by stamping? Lady's finger or capsicum? Mm. Jimmy, can you try? Ma'am, in these pictures, pattern of lady's finger was stamped by cutting and dipping it in different colors. Awesome! Very good, Jimmy. Children, we can make simple patterns by using other vegetables and fruits as well. All we need to do is cut them and either dip them in color or apply color on them. See how pieces of apple are used here as stamps to create a pattern by repeating the design. Ma'am, how can I create a picture if I don't have anything to use as a block or a stamp? Jimmy, it is very easy. First of all, either soak your hand in color or apply some color on your hand, then stamp it on a paper. See, like this. Now, dip one finger in the yellow color and stamp it like this. Then, dip the rest of your fingers in different colors and stamp them like this. Now tell me, what do you think this is? Wow, ma'am, this is a picture of a tree. <laughs> yes, you are right, Jimmy. Children, look at these patterns. These were made by using fingers as stamps. Oh, wow! Ma'am, this is very easy. There are several other ways by which you can create patterns by stamping. How is that? Come on. Now let me show you patterns created using different types of objects as stamps.
This is a pattern made by stamping a balloon dipped in different colors. Six pencils were tied together and dipped in color. Then the bundle was used as a stamp to get this pattern. Now see this. Different designs were made on potatoes so that after applying color, these could be stamped for patterns. And yes children, toys that can be worked as stamps are sold in shops too. You can also use them to create your favorite patterns. Oh, wow. wow! Such, Such stamping, stamping toys, toys are, are also available. available. Ma'am, can we make patterns by using any block or any object as stamp, right? All we need to do is either apply color on them or dip them in color, right? You are absolutely right. Ma'am, now we also know how to make simple patterns by stamping. Very well. So tomorrow, all of you, please stamp a beautiful pattern in your notebook with a block or an object of your choice and bring it. Okay, okay ma'am. So friends, today in this video, we learned how to stamp patterns with the help of blocks and other objects. In the next video, we will bring to you some more examples of creating patterns by using stamps. Friends, today we will see some interesting examples of how to use objects around us as stamps to create different kinds of patterns. Hey Vinnie, what happened? What are you thinking about? Mummy, I have to create a beautiful pattern in my drawing notebook by stamping. I need to show it in school tomorrow. Oh, so you have to create a pattern by stamping. Yes, mummy. But what should I use to create a simple pattern out of stamping? Vinnie, look. Which vegetables are these? These are ladies finger and onions. Oh, yes. Our teacher told us that we can make use of vegetables as stamps to make patterns. You are right. So now we will cut this small onion into two halves like this and dip both the pieces in different colors. We will then stamp these on a paper and create a nice pattern. Pattern with an onion stamp. How? Dip the two pieces of onion in two different colors and stamp on all four corners of the page like this. See, the pattern is ready. Oh yes, now we can stamp on the onion in the middle also. Very good, Vinny. Mummy, can we create some other pattern? By using onions as stamps? Yes, Vinny. Look, let us create five onion stamps like this. Then write above it another six stamps in a different color. And with seven stamps on top in another color. Now begin with four stamps in a straight line and five stamps in a slanting line. This way we can make a boat. Oh, wow, mummy. Can we make a balloon by using onions as a stamp? Yes, Vinny. By dipping six pieces of an onion into six different colors, we can stamp them like this to make a balloon. Now to show that these balloons are tied with threads, we can draw lines like this. 
Wow! This pattern looks really beautiful. Yes, Mummy. Can we also create a pattern by using both onion and lady's finger? Absolutely. Yes, Vinny. Let me show you. See, Vinny. First of all, we will make a drawing like this on a paper. Oh, this looks like a vase. Yes, it is a picture of a vase. Now, with the help of onion and lady's finger, we will make flowers like this. Mummy, since this picture has five stems, so shall we make five such flowers? Yes, Vinny. But we will stamp the second flower using a piece of onion dipped in some other color. Just like this. Do we need to repeat this pattern now? Yes, Vinny. Now let us make the third flower the same way we made the first. Yes, and the fourth would be the same as the second one. Now, how would you make the last flower? Hmm. To complete this pattern. The last flower should be like the first and the third one. Very good, Vinny. Now let's make a pattern on the vase using lady's finger as stamp. We will stamp on this strip of the vase. Yes. So let's stamp with two pieces of lady's finger dipped in different colors in this pattern. Oh wow! This vase is looking so beautiful. Yes, Vinny. Now go ahead and make a simple pattern of your favorite object in your drawing notebook using stamps, and I will go and cook some dinner. All right, mummy. So, children, today in this video, you saw some interesting examples of how you can. Use objects from your surroundings to create patterns by stamping. In the next video, we will talk about the days of the week. Of numbers and alphabets. Children, how was your Deepavali? Ma'am, we, we had, had a lot, lot of fun, fun during Deepavali. Children, come on. Today, I will teach all of you a fun game. Fun, fun game? game? Yes, Vinny, come here. I will clap for some time, and you have to listen to my claps. Carefully, then you have to count the numbers of the claps and write it on board. Okay, ma'am. How many times did I clap? I heard one clap first, then two claps, and this continued one, two, one, two. Well done, Binny. Now you come forward and count my claps. Okay, ma'am. How many times did I clap? At first, you clapped once, then three, then you continued one. Three, one, three. Well done, Binny Winnie. Now, can you tell me what is the special about these numbers? Hmm. Here, the first line, the number one and two are repeated again and again, and in the second line, number one and number three are repeated. Oh yes. This has become 
a pattern of numbers. Rightly said, Vinnie. Children, now look carefully at what I write on the board. Tell me what I have written. You have written the English alphabets A and B and repeated them again and again. Oh yes, this is a pattern of alphabets. Well done, Binny. Yes. So, friends, today in this video, we will place the numbers and alphabets in specific order, and we'll learn to make patterns by repeating them again and again in the same order. Vinny, can you see a pattern in these numbers? One, three, five, seven, nine. These numbers are written in ascending order. So tell me, which number comes after nine? Ten comes after nine. No, Vinny. Look carefully. These numbers are written in a pattern. By adding one and two, you get three. And this is how the pattern builds up. Yes, two added to three gives five. Two added to five gives seven. Two added to seven gives nine, and two added to nine result as eleven. Yes, therefore eleven comes after nine in this pattern. Well done. So children, number pattern is created by repeatedly adding a specific number to given numbers. Ma'am. We want to know more about patterns. Okay. So come on, can you identify this pattern? A B B C C D D E. Hmm. Yeah, each term is of two alphabets. The second alphabet of the first term becomes the first alphabet of the second term, and the pattern is getting. Build further. Very good, Vinny. Now solve this puzzle made of alphabet pattern. This pattern is made of English alphabets A, B, C, D. And yes, each term of this pattern has three alphabets. So here, following A, B, C and D, E, F, the next term will be G, H, I, because it is followed by J K L. Well done, Binny. Children, remember that a pattern is made by repeatedly writing numbers or alphabets in a specific order. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Friends, today you learned to make patterns by placing numbers and alphabets. In specific order in this video. In the next video, we will learn more about patterns made of numbers and alphabets with the help of some interesting examples. Friends. In the last video, you learned to make patterns by placing numbers and letters in a specific order. In this video, we will look at some interesting examples related to patterns made with numbers and letters. Vinny, you have learned to make patterns with numbers and letters. Haven't you? Yes, I have. Come on, let's create some puzzles using patterns made of numbers and alphabets today, and try to solve them by asking each other. Okay. So tell me, can you fill in the blank to complete this pattern? Hmm. In this pattern, the numbers are listed in Ascending order. 
As per the pattern, ten comes after six. While counting numbers after six, we have seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hence, on adding one, two, three, four to six, we get ten. You said it right, Vinny. Similarly, by adding four to ten, we get the next number in the pattern. Fourteen. Yes. And by adding four to fourteen, we get eighteen. Hmm. After eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. That means we get twenty-two on adding four to eighteen. Very good, Vinny. Here is the puzzle made with this number pattern. Four is added every time. Six, ten, fourteen. Eighteen and twenty-two. Oh yes, you have solved the puzzle. Let me ask you another question. Ask. Come on, observe this puzzle carefully and tell me which numbers should be used to fill these blanks. Vinny, in this pattern, the numbers are in descending order. Hence, we have forty. Thirty-nine, thirty-eight, thirty-seven, thirty-six, thirty-five, which is one, two, three, four, five. On subtracting five from forty, we get thirty-five. Yes, we can solve this puzzle by subtracting five from each term. Hmm. On subtracting five from thirty-five, we will get thirty, and on subtracting five from thirty, we will get twenty-five. Yes, and on subtracting five from twenty-five, we get twenty. Hmm, and on subtracting five from twenty, we get fifteen. Now let's go. Okay, let's go. So, children, in this video. We understood patterns made of numbers and letters with some interesting examples. In the next video, we will understand the same with the help of few more interesting examples. children today in this video we will understand the pattern of numbers and alphabets with some interesting examples vinny look this is an interesting pattern made with red blue and green dots come on now repeat it And build it further. Hmm. Here in this pattern, dots are placed in increasing order to form a triangle. And yes, in this pattern, the blue dots are behind the red dots, and then you have the green dots, and they are repeated in specific order. Therefore, at this fifth position, after four, we will write five, and we will place five blue dots after four red dots in such a manner that they make a triangle. Well said. Yes. So, Vinny, in this manner, this is the number pattern. Vinny, come on. Now look at these pictures. Do you know the name of the figures in these pictures? Yes, this is B A T bat, and this one is R A T rat, and this one is M A T mat, and this is C A T cat. And this one is H 
A T hat. Wow, Benny, you have named all of them. Come on, now tell me, do you see any pattern in this? Hmm. Yeah, all these words are of three alphabets, and the last two letters of all these words are the same. Rightly said, Binny. In all these words, the second alphabet is A, and the third alphabet is T. So it does become a pattern of alphabets. Oh yes, B A T bat, R A T rat, M A T mat, C A T cat, and H A T hat. They make an interesting pattern. Yes, these are patterns made of alphabets. Absolutely right. <laughs> Children, today you understood. pattern made of numbers and alphabets with the help of interesting examples in the next video we will learn making patterns with the help of stamps